Hey cat. Gotta kiss the camera, are ya? Good kitty, huh? See if the other cat's here. Hmm, she's not here. Oh, there she is, down there. Can I get the camera through here? Hey, cat. Yeah, can't get there, the trailer's in the way. Oh, there she is. Just see her ears sticking up down there. Good day, viewers, or made some improvements to my amplifier. I found an arm, um, it's just the the RCA jacks from the front panel of that TV. I've utilised the left and right channels. So I didn't start this straight to there. I utilised these um, use these components here. There's blocking diodes and stuff in there, and they're important in case something shoot does. In case something happens, they might shoot voltage back up into your whatever's plugged in here. So say an iPod and destroy it. So I left right it properly. And all they're going to do is uh, find some sort of box, a wooden box. That will stick out the front from the inputs. Need some sort of volume control. I was going to use this. This has got a switch in the back. So the PC power supply will turn off. And turn the whole amplifier off. It's got three pots here, uh, three connectors for a pot. But I think it only goes for one channel. So you got in, common and out. I don't know if that's going to work with two channels. I've got two channels in here. In the black common in the middle but there's no output so yeah that's pretty worked out quite well we've recycled most of the uh, important components so I'll plug this in and give it a test turn that down turn this on and because I need that location. Lady, you don't care about me. <laughs> when I was walking through, it's like slapping. Got a better core because this one here, I use this for my um, valve radios, and that's only a mono uh, Let's One Channel 3. It has um, one common for both stereo channels, but doesn't actually have the stereo effect. How I've set this up, we've got a proper stereo connection now, so the balance works. He sang first with the silver. Oh. That. I mean, he's the man's married with Charles, but <laughs> delightful. Oh, no, you know the mean? dude? He's got that beautiful James Taylor voice, and he's just suave, and he's an older. Nice and loud. Yeah, yeah love him. Don't never get very warm at all. Runs <laughs> <laughs> quite cool. All I gotta do now is yeah, put it in the box. Turn it off. Let's have a look at this one hour meter. See how much power we're using. Moving very slowly. Obviously won't register on the amp meter. Right, let's try some more destruction. Okay, the oars have got me ballast set up. Just two 1961 HP and power points hooked up together in series. One hour meter and everything's all uh, ready to go. Let's see how much power we could use here. That's on. All I've got to do now is just plug it in. Alright. Get on my safety mat. Power on. Alright. This is a CRT uh, filled with water. I did some videos on this a while ago where I tried to boil it, but it took too long. It's been sitting under my caravan ever since. But there you go. It's not even touching the water line, it's conducting through it. Looks pretty cool, a lot of effect. The lead in the glass conducting. Yeah, lead coating. That looks cool. Oh no, I think I cracked it. Oh, I cracked the glass.
Hey, the guy. Part of the um, CRT break away there. Nice hole. Light bulb's not really interesting. Speaker. Talk about going on the ground. LCD. As I said, this is fun, but very dangerous. Mmm, smell that dirt cooking. You get that away from those leaves, I don't want to start a fire. Yeah, because the arc formed a track around the glass, and that's where it um, burnt through and cracked it. Now yeah, it's just tracking around the water. Might crack the glass some more. <coughs> okay, starting to crack around the phosphorus there. Keep an eye on those cats. I don't want those cats getting in the way. Arcing around the cat. Not weak enough yet. It's cooking the water. Talk about burning. It's almost like electrons hitting the screen. Yeah, crack the glass. That's sort of what it looks like, the power lines for them, that's sort of what uh, it will do. Arc the ground, that's why you got to keep right away from it when something like that happens. Not really interesting, speaker's already blown, not doing much. Bob starting to break. Bulbs cracked. Heat from the arc cracked them from glass. So yeah, it's interesting there. See where it tracks. And where it makes that uh, track is where the current breaks the glass from the heat. 
The plus was right up because there's no um, vacuum. This bulb next, it's all blowing bulbs, they're not going to do anything. Glass that I've got there. I nearly burn a hole in that. Broke it. There you go, I cut the bowl in half. Look at that, almost a perfect cut. Yeah, the fuses inside there are blown. Reflection coils start to there, it's a magic smoke. Smoky reflection assembly. There you go. But the glass is wet, but it's conducting through. Let's see if I can cut that bulb in half. Drying too quick. There you go. Etch the neck off. Hmm. The electron gun assembly still looks brand new after being in water for that long. For at least three or four months it's been sitting under water. Get that off now. There you go. Unplug, safety first. Hey, barely warm. Bella setup works good. Yeah, it got a bit warm there. How much did I use? I use exactly, get me a light out here. Yeah, almost 100 watt hours there. Eh? Probably would have pulled five amps at most, so you don't get as much voltage to the ballast like this, but at least you'll save energy. <laughs> Thanks for watching.